Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at how we create a combo box so we can get a field lookup. So what we can see here is we've got a product description list that's quite long and we want to make it easy for the users to find us. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to go to and click on create and then we're going to create a new form using the form wizard. So we're going to choose our products table and then in this instance all we're really interested in looking at is the product description, product, product price and a couple of other ones. Let's just cycle through this one. We're going to go through and then we're going to modify the design at the very end. And then we can see we've got a lovely form here that we're going to play around with. Notice that in order for us to cycle through or get to a product we have to use the um, the fill buttons down bottom just to try and cycle through and this isn't really useful to a user that wants to do something quickly So what we're going to do is we're going to go to design view and we're going to choose inside the design view to add an extra film form input so we're just going to move down some of the content so that we can insert our new field and we're going to go up to our toolbox and we're going to do the drop down and we're going to choose the combo box option so we click on that and then just click anywhere on your form and it will start the wizard. Now we want to choose the third option which is find record on my form based on the value inside my combo box. We click next and then you'll notice we have the option to choose what field we want and what product description. Click next and then it should give you a preview of all of those products that we had in our table earlier. Now click finish. And then what will happen is once the field has been placed into our form, if we click on view, we should now have the ability to choose from the drop down any one of the products. So we click on one and you can see that the corresponding cost price and other information should change in relation to what is selected. So with that in and knowing that that's working, we can go back into our design view and we can get rid of the original product description field. Do a little bit of rearranging, make it bigger so that the users can see the full information inside the field and then go and test it by viewing and then click on the drop down just to make sure it all fits.